Rakesh, I am a civil engineer, and my startup is connected to construction. Uh, and we have to take one extra slide because uh, people raise their eyebrows. What is civil uh, construction going in the startup ecosystem? And uh, thank you, uh, Nancho. You gave me a chance to at least speak here. So, uh, because I am going to introduce a revolutionary construction technology, because I need a visionary and resourceful partners, because I am aiming at uh, speed in growth and multiplication, and we have to make open to innovation. So, that's why I need this uh, startup ecosystem. So I am trying to address the problem of mass housing for the urban people. We are using expandable uh, housing product where he is a region also and he takes a house. And for that we are using this new age construction technology which is fast, efficient and eco friendly Today, it is not available. <coughs> Nobody is getting a house for 50 rupees. The problem, everybody moves away. So we have adopted an uh, Australian technology named as uh, rapid work. And on that we did some studies. Actually we took time first to save that one. We uh, did some experimentation, did some innovation in that. Ultimately came up with a housing product which is strong, efficient, fast and economic. Our focus is on thin walls using uh, mechanization and uh, manufacturing processes so that we can arrive at all. Uh, for two years, we worked on this, looking at market, looking at different technologies, then uh, selecting one, doing some uh, innovations, doing some experimentation, and then finalizing on what we are trying to do. Now we think we are ready to step into market. So long we were bootstrap, and the market, this time, is ready for us, waiting for us. There are demands carpet area. We have given 10% extra carpet area. Structural responsibility. There are asked for it. And this inherently has strength. Then, really, we are fast in construction. Land is at a premium. Manual labor is getting scarce. And eco friendly construction has to be more eco friendly. Now, uh, if we look at this market, Suddenly, the polar drivers have come in. Uh, these big companies, they have their service staff. And a new generation of people is here, which are in the income bracket of 25,000 to 35,000. So, we are looking at them. That is our target market. And uh, going by the statistics, 60% almost of the Bangalore population is in rented population. And this income bracket is 15% of the population, which tells us the 250,000 families are living in this bracket are living in rented accommodation. So they are the people who would like to live in our house. As far as our company goes, we will be able to make only 5,000 to 10,000 houses in the next 5 years. So there is a huge gap. It can go anywhere. And when we think of the rest of our country, it is simply multiplied. We don't have any competition here. In the 15 lakh rupees independent borrows, uh, which can be expanded. So, our uh, advantages are fast construction, smaller land footprint, ready to occupy houses, will be sold, no bookings, no delays, nothing like that. And it's also uh, eligible for the uh, Nanam Mukhe Abbas Mission subsidy. This is, for uh, example, the uh, type of house. It will be here, it's a one BHK house. Uh, it can be expanded next door. Another two bedrooms, two bathrooms can be added in this. And uh, we are uh, putting it at 15 batteries. All inclusive plus restrictions also. Our innovations have been uh, a new type of foundation. Automatically, more of experimentation. Then uh, integrating manufactured components of the building for fast uh, construction. Then uh, introduced hybrid construction. And a couple of more, uh, we have applied for six patents. So, uh, how we think we will be going? Initially, uh, zero to three, five years, we will be working around Bangalore, developing 
over uh, project size is 100 doses. So that is concise, completed uh, and handleable because it will be easily available to people. From third to fifth year, we will start expanding to next cities, more cities. If we have to go north, between third year and eighth year, we will have to set up a protocol north to north India. And uh, this is especially good for earthquake uh, zones. So this is a great demand, there is a great need for this construction in North India. And after third year, we will start thinking of uh, entering the industry, giving them the uh, housing product. Our uh, income will come from the sales margin of development of housing projects, since we will have to pre plan some uh, inflation among the acquired land asset will be there. We will be franchising and uh, selling our uh, patented technology. And uh, when we set up a plant, we will be also selling the uh, panels. The pricing of the product is at the like uh, this. The services, we have to discover the price yet. The sale will be uh, meeting the buyer the stores. We don't plan of any advertisements. What does services price will be discovered in? Uh, what is your cost? No, no, a patient will have to sell, or franchisee will have to sell at what rate, or those things. It might sound dead, so that we can move on to do this first project, and then we again open for the equity project. Without that, we cannot go with this scale of development. Thank you very much. I need source for equity partners, fast funding to jump the levels, and Otherwise, a little debt fund or any type of fund so that we can move and move to the next level. Thank you very much. This is a permanent construction which has to theoretically stay for 100 years, practically stay for only 300 years. Those prefabricated are maximum 20 25 years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anywhere we see steel, uh, that I don't to say, uh, think that it will last more than 30 years. Yes. We are creating a lot of problems around this. Is, uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, structure, uh, although these panels take the structural load also, it is uh, highly uh, calculated and tested and tried. Uh, we have got uh, certification of the eight Richard scale. It, has, uh, it can withstand the load up to eight stories and so many uh, final technical details. Those can't go more than two. What about, sir, in IIT Madras, they actually use gypsum, which was actually a uh, Bio waste, fertilizer waste, or something. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, it's the same thing. Exactly. Exactly. What about then? How do you compare with uh, the Dubai waste company? Let them uh, September, I think. They were saying they could build a 60, 40, 60,000 in a week because they actually have these cane frack or something. I forgot the name. Cane frack actually Oh, Okay, they are. They excluded that in one week. See what the house. Yeah, uh, I don't look at that. Yeah, yeah. I don't look at that because that is something when we do something for demonstration. I did one. I have completed constructed one uh, model house for myself. Myself, it is much costlier than the existing one. But once you use machines, once you use cranes, once you use all these things, that's when you will be able to reduce the cost, speed up the production, uh, thinner walls. You have to be perfectly vertical. You cannot do cluster mechanism. Eight stories, it has to be done in the third line. That part is missing in our house construction. Instantly, I live in an LNT house just because they were our contractors. I know what they do. The rest of the heavens pop it, I don't know what is happening. Anyways, sir. Any other? Any major issues or challenges which you see? Definitely, the only issue I face is uh, it's uh, in grips of the traditional industry. That traditional businessman and the uh, eco this our startup ecosystem is uh, shying away from it. They are afraid of the uh, real estate, they are afraid of the Munda, of the government, of everything. I don't know why people are shying away and afraid. They simply want something they can do in my room and it's done, finished. Unless they enter this, how is our house going to be saved? When I construct a house, 100 years, my head will be under that. My neighbor digs a French. and my house will collapse. So all those things, whatever we do today, it has got a reputation for the next 200 years. So uh, the cement industry, 
is only creating 5% of global pollution. 30% of global pollution, 2,000 billion tons of carbon dioxide is from construction alone. What are we doing about it? So, some are actually, actually it's, it's there. I hope I get the question. So, how do you go about acquiring the systems? I mean, it's very simple. Uh, whenever I, that's why I see no replacement. Uh, whenever I talk to you, suddenly I start getting phone calls. Where is the host? We want to get uh, help. So, I want to talk But uh, we go to the cluster. I am the, those work, uh, workers. No, yeah, but uh, uh, that is not really an effective way for him because he is looking at a low cost housing in a large scale. So, 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 that, uh, uh, so that is again, he means connect from. Uh, the connect again not from an individual perspective. So connect to another area yes, who are looking at a larger. Uh, so the ground has to address and they build all these LIGs and MIGs. Yeah, and there is one more segment that is EWS, economically weaker section. Uh -huh. That is one house, but I want to give people a dream. You take one uh, room house, but imagine that you have a three room house after five years later. So okay. that is what. Another thing is looking at is something like what. Uh, Jerry Rao started, right? A commercially funded project focused at uh, low cost housing. So that is where he is looking at, you know, it will, it will mean that attract a lot more investors who will look at developing uh, a large scale housing project, but they are focused at low cost housing. Yeah, so with this segment is attended. Again, they go to the swimming pool, to the club, to the that thing. Again, by this segment, Ola driver is neglected. And why they are thinking? Of their life is getting better. Yes. Yes. The site developers are maybe not too important. Site developers, because they do uh, small sites, I think they said maybe. Uh, no, it's. Yeah, yeah, it's not. The land developers will develop large. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not going to be worth it because uh, waste like yellow zone land, convert it and do it. Otherwise, they will buy it for two hundred rupees square foot and give to me for seven hundred rupees square foot. So See, uh, those projects are very focused on monetizing in a bigger way. So those developers would want to monetize it as high as possible. So that will immediately keep away that target audience. See, he's looking at building a house for 15 lakhs. So the site itself will cost you very more than that from a land developer. So their target won't be achieved. So he so obviously it, needs to look at a different They hold it for some time, then see the development. We are not on the uh, this uh, inflation one. We'll buy an entity set. The, the, that proposition is right for its modern motion. Whatever gain happens, it should happen to my buyer so that I have a long term of buyers. But I should be able to make the minimum. So this could well be classified in the social venture category, but this needs to be backed with a lot of you know, the investments. It also needs to be backed with a lot of other projects or even the government initiatives or even the trust fund projects where they actually develop housing. So this needs to be a different kind of Right, please. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much.